We all know and have experienced that technology is developing and changing. Software and corresponding file formats may become more advanced, giving more options to the user on what to include in the file and how. But the problem with this is that the content in the data file, which is a few years old, may not be correctly presented when opened. Or the file may be not be possible to open at all. To make sure your data set is accessible also many years from now, it is important to choose file formats where this is guaranteed not to happen. This is the topic of this video. Making sure your dataset is accessible in the future has to do with the file format you use when archiving your data. But you may also need to consider how you want to or need to handle your data in the collecting or generating phase as well as how you may analyze your data. Perhaps you need to use designated software for this. So maybe you need to convert the files with your analyzed data into formats suited for archiving. These are all issues you should think through in the planning phase of your project. How may you best accommodate all your needs in the various phases of your project? And then you need to make sure that the format you use do not prevent conversion to a preferred format for archiving. Commonly, preferred formats are characterized by being non-proprietary, that is, there is, there is no commercial interest controlling the format and the design and development of the format encoding scheme. The format specification should be open and well documented following international standards. The encoding of the characters should also follow well-documented standards. This is to avoid characters becoming unreadable. And file formats should be uncompressed since something may be lost while compressing the files. There is a nice list of preferred file formats maintained by DANS, that is Data Archiving and Network Services, in the Netherlands which will help you nicely in determining whether a file format does indeed comply with the requirements of being preferred. Often you may find it convenient to use a non-preferred format for your work files. For tabular data, Microsoft Excel is much used. This is perfectly all right, but make sure you convert such files into preferred formats before archiving. Make a note of these basic tips I show here. While preparing your data for archiving, you also need to consider what to archive. During your research project, you may have created lots of temporary files, or you may have done some failed experiments in the lab. It is not necessary to archive all such data, so you may need to do a careful selection of what to archive. But be careful not to exclude null observations. Those are observations too and data that are of little value in your project may be of significant value to others. Therefore, it is good practice to archive all raw data if practically possible. But of course, be careful not to archive openly personal or sensitive data. Everything that makes possible to identify persons must be removed from your data. Remember what we said about file formats for archiving. They should be preferred formats for long-term preservation. However, non-preferred original formats may be archived in addition to the preferred format. This may be convenient for those who find your dataset while this original file format is still a much used and convenient format. 